Hi guys, bit of a different video today. Um, six months Over six months ago, I got mm. Solo installed. So what I'm gonna talk about in this video is the system I've chose, uh, the installers I chose, how much we've saved, how much we've produced, everything. So the current time recording, it is June the 8th. So I've got a full, like almost six months of data. So the system I chose, which is apparently the Rolls Royce of Solar, is Solar Edge. So we've gone ahead and got the five kilowatt inverter. They range in size, you can get a 3.68 kilowatt all the way to a 10, but for our needs, a five is plenty. We have, we don't have a south roof, we have a east and a west roof. So five kilowatts is plenty. Uh, we've also gone for a battery. This battery here, Solar Edge battery is 10 kilowatt. The actual usable capacity is 9.7 kilowatts there. We roughly use between 10 to 12 kilowatts a day. So this is plenty, even in the winter. There's been a few days in the winter where this wasn't enough and we had to pull in power from the grid. Uh, yeah, it's a very good system. Um, so we use the local installer at the time. It's called Solar KW. They've recently been acquired by a company called Upvolt and they've got two companies now, like one in Oxfordshire, the other one in Kent somewhere. After watching this video, if any point you decide to, you want a quote from the company, uh, Solar KW, well, Upvolt, uh, please mention Robin Jones. I may get a little bit of commission, help the channel out. So as for the panels, I'll put some drone footage up now. We've gone for 10 on the east and seven on the west, and they are 420 watt panels, REC, Alpha Pures. I think the efficiency is about 20 to 22%. I forget the numbers. As for the warranty on a system like this, um, the inverters comes with a 12 year warranty. Battery's 10 year. Uh, the overall insulation uh, worksmanship is 10 years. Uh, we have optimizers on the roof with the panels. They come with a 25 year guarantee and the panels are also 25 years. So yeah, you get a fairly decent warranty with solar. Company Upvolt supplies surrounding areas of Berkshire, Oxfordshire, Hampshire, and even Wiltshire, I believe. Our total peak size is 7.14 kilowatt peak because of the 17 panels. What I'm gonna do now is show you the app, the Solar Edge app, and run through the figures with you. So currently we can see we are producing 4.24 kilowatts, it's not that sunny out, it's sort of a bit cloudy and sunny. 0.41 or 0.3 kilowatts are going straight to the house. The rest is exporting because the battery's full. Even though it shows 97%, I've noticed with this battery, um, it tends to want to charge at about 96, 97, then it will up it to 100%. The app is fairly quick because what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn my tumble dryer on and you will see the energy divert into the house then. So I've just turned it on and now we are using, in live time, 2.68 kilowatts. So obviously we're going to export less now. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Right, also in the app it tells you your energy produced this month, this year, lifetime. Now if we scroll down to the daily figure, we can see how much we produce. Look, 20 kilowatts. 9.3 went to the grid where we get paid. Uh, I'm on a tariff where you get paid 16 and a half P, so it's pretty decent. 3.75 went to the battery, 7.44 went to the house. And on the other side is our consumption. We've consumed 8.48 at the moment, and it is currently about 1.40 PM when I'm making this video. So we can see from solar and battery is 99% today. Uh, if we scroll down, we can actually see the production graph. You can go ahead and zoom in on this. And as you can see, bear in mind we are in June, production started at around five o'clock, just 29 watts. So we can click how much we've had to home. There's a home usage from the production of solar. How much went to the battery in a light green and what's been exported to the grid. And not only you can see daily, you can see weekly and monthly, but it shows it in a bar graph like this. So you can see this month, our best day was the second where we produced 38 kilowatts. It's impressive, isn't it? And the worst day is 14. So that's our production. And then we can see a consumption graph for the day, where you can see we've pulled a little bit from the grid. Um, most days we pull a little bit from the grid because the way solar works, it ups the voltage to push it through the house. And if you suddenly change, if you get high load of five kilowatts, it's not quick enough to react, so you'll pull a little bit from the grid. 11% from battery and 88% purely from solar. Next, we have the battery graph. This is only available in the daily, so you can see the battery went as low as 47% and 
and immediately when the solar started kicking in it fully charged by nine o'clock 99 percent and down the bottom we can see our performance over the year uh, i've actually had it a bit longer than six months it started in october but for the purposes of this video i've decided to start on january so that's that page of the app yeah it's a very good app next up if you click the battery icon in the middle you can choose three modes for a battery maximize self-consumption which basically charges it via solar and will discharge when the solar is not working or not powerful enough there's another mode called time of use which has a smart algorithm so say on a winter's day you you've got 20 percent of battery at night it will know to charge it up enough to use for the next day and then finally we have manual control which i do use in the winter because you can set a charging schedule discharging schedule and a pause schedule and finally the next thing is our panels now because we have optimizers we can see exactly what each panel has done so this is currently 145 today the east panels are produced more obviously and they're pretty much all the same around 1.7 kilowatts per panel and we can even click on one i'm going to click on the 1.7 kilowatt one and we can see currently right now it's producing 117 watts of power and the ones on the west actually they might be more because the sun is on them now so i'm going to click that it's 157 probably because it's a bit cloudy and sunny outside and we can scroll from daily weekly monthly yearly so if i show you the yearly each panel well the best panel is uh what one is it 180 this one 180 kilowatts out of one panel right so what did we actually produce in each month right i wrote i wrote the figures down here and i've also got them on the app which i can show you now something happened at the beginning of the year the solar edge app hasn't added all the figures up correct so these may be a little bit off so january we were estimated 144 kilowatts and we actually only produced 73 it was a pretty bad winter to be honest and you can see our consumption there in february we was estimated 233 kilowatts kilowatt hours we produced 136 so yeah again a poor month march we were predicted 456 kilowatts and we actually produced 475 so a pretty decent month april we was estimated 664 we produced 700 again another brilliant month in may we were estimated 788 and we got 853 our record month so far and june this is a partial month so we're predicted 804 kilowatts and we've produced so far 193 so yeah it's looking about 800 kilowatts this month now the company upvolt installed this back in october last year uh they were fantastic i can't fault them they're local to us they're like five ten miles up the road it took them a whole day to install it we had to have two lots of scaffolding east and west roof um yeah no problems i can't really fault them brilliant company yeah i'll put a link to the company in the description if you're interested in solar so the price of this system so we were originally quoted for only 14 panels nine thousand four hundred pound without the battery or just 17 panels for ten thousand three hundred seventy six but we decided to what the heck go for the battery as well because this is amazing in the winter and the actual price was 14,826 so quite a lot of money but they predicted to pay off about 10 years but according to my calculations it's probably around seven to eight years now the battery comes in its own in the winter because we're on a good tariff with eon next drive i will put a link in the description and if you decide to join eon next drive we both get 50 pound commission so in the winter I can fully charge this battery between the hours of 12 till 7 in the morning for, wait for it, 6.7p a kilowatt versus the standard rate at the moment is about 27p a kilowatt. So there are substantial savings to be made in the winter just by charging your battery from the grid. Whereas in the summer, most days, I'm going to bed at like 11, 12 o'clock and I've still got like 80 or 90% battery. So in the summer, really don't need a battery, I would say. But the winter, yeah, it's definitely worthwhile. Right, this will be the best part of the video, the actual, my actual energy bills. So in the six months of this year, I've used 1.81 megawatts, which is 1,810 kilowatt hours. And my bill should have been 643 pound, which equates to about 1,200, 1,300 pound a year. So with solar, uh, January again January and February is a pretty poor month but my actual energy bill it should have been about 110 pound a month was 48 pound but I exported 42 kilowatts which was seven pounds worth so my total bill for that month was 41 pounds February was a little better uh, 36 pound actual bill exported 46 kilowatts 
and get seven pound for that so my bill was just 28 pounds in february march is when it really started getting good so my bill for march was 30 pound 40 bear in mind this includes standing charge because that's around 20 pound a month for standing charge but we exported 249 kilowatts that was 41 pounds so our actual bill for march was minus 10 minus 11 pounds so we got 11 pounds back from the energy company in april our bill was the lowest at 25 pounds exported 405 kilowatts that export was six, worth £67, so our bill was minus £42, a great month that was. May, our bill was £30.61, we exported 540 kilowatts, and that was almost £90 export. So our bill for that month was minus £58. And June, so far, it's only been a week in June, our bill's £8, we've already exported 118 kilowatts, at about £20. So our bill currently for this month is £11.51 in credit. So, so far this year, bear in mind you've got two really rubbishy months, we're in credit by £52.80, where our bill should have been um, £643. So, we've near enough saved £700 so far in just six months. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so to sum this video up, I thoroughly recommend solar. Yes, it's expensive to buy, but with the energy prices always going up, let's face it, they're never going to come down. It's well worth getting a system like this. But like I said before, you may not need a battery, and that is a big chunk, because this battery on its own was £4,450, I think. And I think, to be honest, it's probably just going to pay for itself in 10 years. It's got a 10-year warranty. It's pretty good, though, because it's got unlimited cycles, so you can, you know, you can use this for a long time. Even after 10 years, it's guaranteed to have 70% capacity, which is seven kilowatts so yeah overall i'm really impressed with solar edge the company upvolt they also sell some other systems i think it's uh i think it's sungrow and solax but this yeah this is the rolls royce of solar if you'd like to see more solar videos mention it in the comments and i will do like monthly performance figures and that not whatnot